Now let's say you want to move multiple subtools. So we hit W to go into gizmo mode. We can move around these subtools, and then we can alt tap this one, and we can move around this subtool, but we can't move both those subtools at once. Well, actually, you can. It's over here underneath transpose all selected subtools. You're going to see it's just one line right now. If I tap that, it's going to turn into three lines, and now if I move this around, all of my subtools are going to move. However, we want to pick and choose which subtools we want to move. How we're going to do that is very similar to visibility. In fact, hold down Control Shift, and probably the easiest if you go here, it'll, it'll work with any modifier, but you choosing Select Rectangle makes it a little visual, visually easier. So hold down Control Shift, and if we hold down Control Shift and tap in our document, you're going to see everybody's going to get this kind of hashed look. It's got lines running through it. And now if we control shift tap these, you're going to see they're going to unhash. So just like your visibility selection, you can control shift tap in your document to invert the hashing. And essentially that hashing is going to say what's going to be movable and what's not. So if we go through here and move, you're going to see it's going to move all of these. We control shift tap it's going to invert that hashing, and now it's just going to move this subtool. Even though this subtool is the one that's technically selected, it's going to ignore it and only move the unhashed subtool. So this is where we can hold down Control Shift and tap separate subtools to unhash them, move them around. Control Shift Tap to invert the hashing, move these around. Control Shift Drag to unhash everything. And you can even use Control shift drag to go through and grab multiple subtools at once. So here you can see we drag through all these subtools and it unhashed them. And now I can move these around. Control shift tap to invert or Control shift drag to unhash everything. And at this point, if you Control shift tap, you'll hash everything. And then you can Control shift drag over these subtools and that'll unhash those. And then you can move these around. Or you can go to, well, going to Unmesh Mesh Center is going to go to the selected Mass Mesh Center. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and move my pivot here. However, if you did want to set your pivot to some other subtool, just simply alt tap that subtool, go to unmash mesh center, make sure everything is unhashed that you want. If you, in fact, if you want to unhash this one, you can now. And now you will pivot from that center. Now this also respects masking. So if you go through here and you mask the bottom of these ones just by control dragging out, and then you alt tap this one and say, you mask the bottom of this too, and you alt tap this one and you say mask the bottom of these and now if you have move multiple and these are all unhashed as you're moving this it's going to respect that masking across multiple subtools now there's a fun tool we can play with now we've kind of made a mess of this scene here and so in fact with all these selected if you go to subtool delete all it'll go ahead and delete all of these subtools out of your scene 